Hello, hope you're hungry and gonna make some uh, pasta. So this pasta is something I used to make when I was a student. Uh, that's like when I was young and um, happy, but not young and happy anymore. Now I'm old and um, uh, unhappy apparently. But then, yeah, let's start with the pasta. So over here, I've got some chorizo. So this pasta will contain some chorizo, mushroom, some garlic and some healthy stuff like you know cherry tomatoes some young spinach and then i'm gonna finish off with cream fresh some cheese i have pecorino cheese but you can use obviously parmesan cheese or whatever cheese you want uh yeah let's start i'm gonna slice this bad boy up so right now i have spaghetti Normally, I would use uh, farfalle, the butterfly pasta, or the bow tie pasta, or whatever you call it, because I think that's a very good pasta shape for this flavor. But I don't have it now, but I have spaghetti, and I'm pretty sure everyone likes spaghetti. So I'm going to try to chop it similar to the shape of pasta. Ugh. So, um, I honestly don't know what to chop it like, uh, I mean, into what sort of shapes. I'm gonna cube it into cube little shapes, you know, cube little cubes. Just, I don't know if you notice, I'm, I am using a different knife. This is my knife that I use when I'm doing, when I'm cooking something western, like pasta or well whatever anything that involves fine work then i'll use this bad boy knife that yep just slice them up and then just pop it in, in a pan and the fat will render and then you'll get some delicious chorizo flavor onto your pan Uh, uh, uh. Just be patient with your slicing, you know, just slice them up. Gotta be patient in life, you know. You gotta wait for the green light before you cross the street. Oh wait, uh, the green man before you cross the street. Green light is very vague, could be anything. Um, yeah, over there, this thing over here, it's a pot of boiling water. Um, it's I mean, it's not boiling yet. Bringing it up to a boil again. Um, then once it's ready, I'm gonna pop the pasta in. But first, I'm gonna slice up all the bad boy chorizo. Boom. 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 Okay, give that bad boy a shake. So you can see the oil, the fats, they're all rendering out. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it from this angle. Maybe I should switch on the lights so you can see it better. Okay, I think my water has boiled. Ish, yeah. i add some salt into my Pot of boiling water, of course. Okay, and then get my spaghetti. So I'm gonna cook like um two person portion because I'm a fat boy. I think that's a two person portion. Yep. Oh, I broke my pasta. It's okay. Off you go. So I got my. Pasta in, I'm gonna throw in little bits as well. Keep your heat low just in case. And then the next bit is mushrooms. So I'm gonna chop it in a cube shape. So I'm gonna halve it. I'm gonna halve it and then just gonna 
roughly chop it, roughly chop that bad boy up. Oh, okay, now bring it up to a boil, put it that bad boy in, and let it boil for like, how long does it take? I don't even know. But um, this this is the first time I bought this pasta branded, so I'm like confused. Still very confused because it doesn't say anything about the cooking time. Ah, ten minutes. So I will cook it up to nine minutes and then and then uh, take it out, cook it in the sauce, so it absorbs. Ah, no. Okay, fine. Mushroom, you can go in now. As you chop, you just add them in. Same thing, I'm gonna have it here. And I'm just gonna roughly, roughly chop them. Just roughly chop them, you know, it's all about the rustic cooking. I'm not a, I'm not a fine dining establishment, although I'm a fine man. That's for sure. Oh, I'll chop it differently now. It's okay. Ta -da. Oh no. Okay, let's chop it properly. I'll do the same technique I did. So I'm not used to using a small knife. I'm used to my I'm used to my I'm used to my very big chopper. As you can see in my previous videos. Boom boom. Boom 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 boom. Just roughly chop them. I can't be bothered really. Boom. Boom. Oh they're all in. Give that bad boy a stir again. Oh it's so heavy. Oh let me get my Yeah, now give that bad boy some color. Okay, now let me quickly clean up my chopping board. Okay, now some garlic. Lightly crush them so it's easy to remove the skin. Remove the bad boy skin. Remove them. Not a big fan of dealing with garlic because they are quite a pain. Huh. Okay. Okay, just roughly chop them. Okay, that's good enough. Off you go. Okay, give it a stir again. And oh, I forgot something. A little bit of olive oil to keep it going. Yep, I forgot that this bad boy. And yeah, just a little bit. Because, you know, olive oil is delicious. Oh, now, some cherry tomatoes. 
just slice them in half. Slice them in half. Add them in. Half it, half it, half it, half it, half it, half it. Half it. Off you go. Okay, add more tomatoes if you want to. I think that's enough for me. And yeah, like maybe a few more, you know. Just a few more. One. Two. And I say few more, I mean two. Hmm. So I, I am not gonna add any salt because pecorino is quite salty. If I'm using a parmesan cheese, then I will probably add salt into it. But not today. Gotta keep my sodium content down. You know. Not content, sodium intake. Gotta keep it down. Okay. I'm gonna grate some cheese. I forgot the time. I forgot the time I passed out. I forgot what time is it? I think two more minutes. I think so. I'm gonna grate some cheese. A bit more than that. More than that. Ta da! More, 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 more! More cheese! It's never enough! Okay, I think that's enough for now. Okay, let's add some spinach into my bad boy pan. Off you go, bad boy. Ding a ding, ding a ding. Off you go, bad boy. Eat you bad boy. Oh, that seems like a lot, but spinach wilts. When it wilts, it becomes really, really tiny. Oh. Okay. Am I gonna use all of them? Nah, probably gonna use like. Oh, it really depends. Probably half a half of this. This is about 300 mil, so about 150 mil are gonna go into that bad boy. Okay, I think my pasta is ready. First, I add some pasta water into that bad boy. Off you go, bad boy. Ah, taste my pasta hopefully it's cooked bad boy spaghetti yep al dente oh this is a big pot not sure how, how I'm gonna take them out oh I'm, I know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the old fashioned way oh, old fashioned what is old fashioned just gonna take them out, fish them out, and just put it in. There you go. Off you go. Come on, bad boy. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add cream fresh into this. You can use single cream if you want to, but try to avoid double cream because it's a bit too heavy. And it's gonna taste really heavy if you go for double cream. 
because of that chorizo, the strong flavors, every single thing in there. I think I fished all my pasta. Uh, this is my little OCD. I gotta make sure I fish all my pasta now. Give it a stir, make sure it's all cooked. Let it, let the sauce meet, you know. Mm, let them make friends. Oh, hey friend, how are you? I love you. I love you too. Let's hang. Oh, you know, that kind of um, relationship building. So, next thing you want to add, some bad boy cheese. Bad boy cheese. And then, bad boy cream fresh. Half of it. Ah, uh, doesn't come out. Hold on, let me stir what I have. So that I get some even, even coating. Bad boy pasta. Half of that bad boy, off you go. Off you go. Off you go. So, cream fresh. Okay, here you go. Mix that bad boy up. Come on, you. Add a little bit more pasta water, which is what I'm gonna do now. A little bit more. Careful not to burn your pasta. I'm gonna shut off the heat. Don't boil your pasta because the cream fresh will split if you carry on with the boiling. So the pasta, you know, mix them out, mix them around, you know, make friends a little bit. A bit of pasta water, of course. And then just mix them around, make sure they are friends. And voila, pasta, chorizo, whatever, pasta. Number one student meal. This is what I had when I was a young, hopeful student until I've seen the real world. Oh, well, I haven't really seen the real world, but after working for a while, then you realize, you know, life is a little depressing. So I'm gonna get a portion for myself. Boom. Boom. It's never enough. Boom. Get some of that bad boy chorizo on it. Boom. It's not the best looking pasta I've ever made, but it's good enough. Uh -huh. And then, get my fork. And here we go. Here we go. Mmm. 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 Damn. This is so good. Mmm. Mmm. Hey, enjoy yourself. Bye bye. See ya.